You are listening to the Beyond the Pain podcast, where Dr. Emil Tompkins and his guests guide you through the latest techniques to relieve your pain and learn how to fuel, move, and think for lifetime wellness. Hey, this is Dr. Emil Tompkins, and I want to thank you for joining us for episode number 52. We're going to be talking about natural ways to help with allergies. And as we get started, just want to begin with my story. For two seasons out of the year, I'd be in bed suffering on a regular basis because of allergies. Um, at the time, this was years ago, I had tried every medication and nothing helped. I was laid out for days during this experience. It was pretty horrible. Allergies were a significant part of my life for a good period of time when I was a young college student. Actually, as I go back and relive some of the days where I had experienced some significant problems with my health, many of them were happening during that college time. Gosh, I got to think about what I was doing during that time. Well, anyway, I didn't realize that there was something that was natural that I could potentially do that could make a huge difference in my allergies until I had started at chiropractic college. And actually, I had no intention of changing my allergies with anything that I was doing with chiropractic. But what I started to realize was as that next year rolled around, I didn't really have allergies anymore. And that next year that rolled around, I really didn't have allergies again, never to the extent that I had had before. And the real difference was the fact that I was getting adjusted. It was a pretty amazing experience that I had had and started learning about how there are certain areas of the spine that would travel to the sinuses and those nerves um, can affect the functioning of the sinuses and can help people with allergies and uh, started noticing uh, the connection there. And in our office, we see people seeing changes in their allergies on a, a pretty regular basis, even though I don't necessarily advertise if you have allergies, get adjusted and it'll be all better. Um, there definitely is a connection. But today we're going to talk about a lot of different steps, quite a few different approaches to taking care of your allergies. And one of the first things that I want you to think of is going beyond the symptoms. When you think about your health in general, let's just pretend there's a timeline. And on one end of the timeline, you have um, 0% health. On the other end of the timeline, you have 100% health. So if we're way down at 0% health, that really is 0%. There's no health, nothing at all. You're actually dead, let's say. And 100% is optimal. We're functioning really well, super healthy, excellent. And then somewhere in there, maybe 30, 40% or so, we have symptoms. If you go below that 30%, you're going to start to feel something. The key, though, is not necessarily just getting us to a point in health where we don't feel anything, but really working to get us closer to that 100%. That really needs to be a goal of ours. And it needs to be a goal of ours when we're dealing with allergies. Allergies are uncomfortable, they're inconvenient, and by most, they're deemed untreatable or uncurable. But why do they occur? Your body, um, one reason why is your body accidentally identifies a substance that, that is actually fairly harmless but your body identifies it as dangerous and that overreaction then triggers an attack and that attack then causes symptoms. Now, uh, some of the symptoms, and you already know if you're dealing with allergies, sneezing, itching, red eyes, increased mucus, coughing, a lot of things can show up as a response to then having allergies. So what do you do? Would you take medication? That is an option, but we all know Medication only covers up symptoms. It doesn't treat the cause. It only works temporarily and has lots and lots of side effects. And so now what we're going to talk about is the what is a um, an alternative to taking these medications? Is there an alternative to taking medications? And there is. And there's a method that we have developed. It's a SAFE method of allergy elimination. SAFE is an acronym, S-A-F-E, and we're going to go over some of the different steps to that acronym. So let's talk about this safe method of allergy elimination. One of the first ones we're going to go over, and actually we're going to go backwards, we're going to start talking about the E. We want to maximize our exposure. So what does that mean? There are studies that show that if you expose your children to common allergens early, it means that they're 45% less likely to develop an allergy. So they need to be exposed. It's okay to go outside. It's okay to play. It's okay to get dirty. 
outdoor play is healthy exposure to common allergens. You don't necessarily want to expose your children to a substance that may be dangerous, dangerous allergy or something like that without supervision from a doctor. But normal areas of exposure, just kids getting dirty, part of our problem is we live in such a sanitized environment that kids' exposures are down and allergy rates are increasing. So maybe even think about kicking the cleaning bucket, substitute traditional cleaners for more natural products. Some of those things that are just designed to kill every single germ out there actually um, can create more problems. So substitute traditional cleaners for more natural products, white vinegar, baking soda, lemon juice, and olive oil. Avoid dangerous volatile organic compounds like triclosan, ammonia, and bleach. In our homes, one of the things that we tend to use are a lot of essential oils for cleaning. Safe, effective, smells good too. Thieves, oil of thieves is one of the more common ones that we'll end up using for cleaning. Now, we're still going backwards, so we did the E. Um, F, foods for freedom of allergies. There are certain foods that can cause inflammation or worsen allergic reactions. Um, eggs, dairy, wheat, corn, sugar are all things that increase inflammation. Healthy foods, as always, help the body to function optimally. Um, probiotics are examples of something that can improve or reduce allergies. Probiotics are the natural bacteria that are found in the digestive tract, but because of our diet, because of our exposure, we may not have enough or the right type of population of probiotic. So sometimes we have to supplement with something to make sure we have the normal flora, the normal bacteria inside the body. Foods high in quercetin naturally support the body and eliminate allergy symptoms. Things like dark red or blue fruits, capers, chili peppers, onions, other things that you can consider is an elimination diet where one, you're getting rid of a lot of the things that our body can be reactive to, like some of those foods I'd mentioned earlier, the eggs, dairy, wheat, corn, sugar, and a number of others. And then add certain supplements to help your body to cleanse because once you cleanse some of that stuff out of there, uh, over time, your body starts to react um, a little less to the things that we come in contact. So continuing to go backwards, A, activity, get up and go. Um, regular exercise helps the body to flush out toxins. Exercise uh, also redirects blood away from the nose and congested areas. Aerobic activity um, also reduces the risk of heart disease, which you know, of course is important. And high intensity intervals, an exercise method that we've talked about in other podcasts, improves more than just allergies, but definitely can make a difference in our allergies. Once one of the things that we notice is as you do an activity that requires more oxygenation, more blood flow, your body will naturally open up those nasal passages so that you can breathe better, so that you can breathe better, so you can get more in there. So activity is going to be vital. So regular exercise, aerobic activity, and high intensity intervals can really do some amazing things for you. Also, in how you think, think positive thoughts. Your stress can worsen allergy symptoms. A good night's sleep always lets the body recharge. A positive mental state throughout the day helps to keep the body healthy. So those are some things to remember. All right, now for the S, supplementation. There are certain supplements that improve our immune response. Number one is vitamin D. Most Americans are severely deficient in vitamin D. And number two, probiotics. We had mentioned those earlier. Probiotics support normal bacteria in the digestive tract to balance out the nervous system. There are some allergy-specific supplements. There's one that we have here in our office. It's called Rutology. It's a vitamin and herb combination that helps sinus and nasal and eye allergies. Um, it's got a few different things in it that helps. Magnolia, it's a traditional Chinese medicine remedy for allergies. Um, xanthium, proven to help with sinus congestion. Hydicodone decreases inflammatory immune mediators that lead to allergic responses. Those are things that can make a difference. There are some other supplements that we work with here with Standard Process. They're called protomorphogens, and so it's um, actually different animal products that when your body takes it in, helps to perform some certain function. So it's like this desiccated liver that 
that. It's called, what is it called? Antronex. Antronex is this desiccated bovine liver that is a natural antihistamine. It's powerful, actually. It works really, really well. Um, Antronex in combination with making sure that you have properly acidic uh, digestive environment. You put those two things together, it's a very powerful anti-allergy um, supplement. So something that can really, really help you out there. And the next thing we're going to talk about is chiropractic care. Number one, an adjustment is going to help align your spine. Now, here's the thing. It's not all about just your spine being in position, but it's what that does. Because when your spine is in the right position, your central nervous system is able to function optimally. Nerves that travel out of C3, which is in the center of the neck, travel into the sinuses. They affect their function. It's been reported that C3 adjustments help people with their allergy functioning. Our goal is to correct the function of your nervous system. When we do that, or we'll continue ourselves towards that 100%, we're talking about that timeline or, or number line when it comes to our health, where 0% is dead, about 30% is where we start to feel symptoms, and 100% is health. We don't want to just live around that 30% where we're not feeling symptoms anymore. We want to be really, really healthy. We want to live towards that 100%, and that is what chiropractic care can do for you. So... We're going to live beyond the symptoms. Our nervous system controls everything, guys, from our breathing to your digestive systems to your muscles. That nervous system is in charge. A well-functioning nervous system means a happy and well mind and body. So let's do what we can to avoid allergic reactions altogether with chiropractic care. That proper functioning nervous system means your body is less likely to have an allergic reaction because it's in more balance or more in balance. Those allergic reactions are happening because the body is reacting to a substance. It's not actually happening because of the substance. It's happening because the body's not reacting well to the substance. It's the body that needs to change, and we can do that. So, uh, guys, I have something for you. There are a lot of different ways that you can help your allergies. Another way is with essential oils. There are certain very specific essential oils that can make a difference uh, with your allergies. And so today I have a, um, a freebie that we're offering. And so what I want you to do is just go into the show notes. I want you to click on that freebie, which is um, essential oils that will help you with allergies. So go ahead and click that link, get the freebie, make a difference in your allergies today. So here are steps then the safe method for allergy elimination, these four specific steps that will improve your health and help free you from allergies. One, supplementation. Two, activity. Three, foods. Four, or E, exposure. Don't be afraid to get dirty or be around animals or dander. This is most beneficial for kids. The research is showing that if you can be around more dirt and things that might be considered dirty, you're going to be healthier. You're going to be able to avoid those allergies. So um, guys, have a wonderful day. Again, go ahead and click that freebie and feel free to leave a rating and review. If you like the information that we're giving out, I want you to be able to continue receiving that. So subscribe to our podcast, leave us a rating and a five-star review that gives more people an opportunity to experience what we have. Hey guys, I thank you so much for joining us. I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins, and I hope you have a great day. Hey guys, it's Dr. Emil Tompkins. Many people fail to make a change in their health until things are drastic, until we've gone so far that it's so challenging to make that change, or we feel like it's almost too late and then we're much more reluctant to make those changes in our health. This is a problem and it needs to change. It needs to stop. When you find something that has an opportunity to make a difference in your health or in the health of someone around you, I invite you to take that opportunity to make that change for yourself or for someone you know. So I have a favor to ask of you. If you've listened to this podcast and you feel like there's something here that you think will benefit someone that you know, I invite you to share that podcast with them. There's a share link on the bottom of the screen. I want you to click that share button to share this with others. Give others the opportunity to experience the Beyond Pain Relief podcast. Um, share that with others. Make a difference in the health of someone around you. And I thank you so much for doing that. This is Dr. Emil Tompkins. Thank you for joining us on the Beyond Pain Relief podcast. And thank you for making a difference in the lives of the people around you.
Have a great day. You are listening to the Beyond the Pain podcast, where Dr. Emil Tompkins and his guest guide you through the latest techniques to relieve your pain and learn how to fuel, move, and think for lifetime wellness. 